Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Anne Koopman and I empower emerging leaders to lead with confidence with their strength, with emotional intelligence and with courage. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe below so you don't miss out on any new episodes. In today's video, we're going to talk about the power of mindful leadership and why it is so important that we all bring a little bit more mindfulness to our day-to-day -day leadership practices. So let's have a think about it. What actually is mindful leadership and why is it important? A big part of leading with emotional intelligence is obviously to be more self-aware. We want to be able to tune into what's going on for us and what might be going on for the people that we lead. We want to be able to build effective relationships. And to do that, we have to be quite in tune with ourselves and with the people around us. As a leader, there are so many distractions. You have to react to emails, calls, to the people knocking on your door or showing up in your Zoom call. And there's so much that's going on, so much noise that it can sometimes be quite overwhelming and quite hard to focus. So mindfulness and being a more mindful leader will allow you to be more present and also look at where do you need to set your priorities. It will help you to stay in tune with your values and lead with more integrity. So what does it mean to be present and mindful? Well, if we drill it down to the basics, being mindful means to be present and to be more aware of what's going on around you. Seeing things as they are, without judgment, without overthinking it, without getting too emotional about it. Just understanding this is where we are, these are the facts, this is what I can see around me, and this is what's going on. So really being in tune with what's going on without further taking any steps or any thoughts. You honor what is here with you, who is here and what's going on for you right now. This has massive benefits for you as a leader because it will allow you to stay calm when things are tough. It will allow you to calm yourself down. When you realize that you have certain emotions going on, when you tune into your self-awareness, you can actually activate your self-regulation techniques, your coping techniques to try and stay as calm as possible which will then ensure that you're not in fight or flight mode and it will ensure that you actually can use your thinking brain, your rational thinking brain to make the right decisions. Another advantage is that it will make you a much better listener because if you can make sure that you're just present in the current moment without getting distracted by your thoughts, you can listen to the person that you're talking to, your team member, your direct report. You can give them your full attention. So without starting to think about your response or about the next task you gotta do after this meeting, you can actually listen to what's going on for them and what they might be needing from you. And out of that, you can actually build much better connections, much better relationships, because people will feel like you value them. People will feel like you're important to them and you will actually hear what's important to them so that you can take action to improve that relationship. So that becomes a give and take and you actually see and you can show that you're invested in these relationships. And the fourth advantage of mindful leadership is that you are more resilient because things don't throw you out of your balance. When something happens, you can quickly come back to your presence, to your mindfulness. You can self-regulate, as I said before, and you can actually stay more calm and more rational and start to think about what are the next steps? What do we need to do right now? What are our key priorities? And this will lead to point number five, which is that a mindful leadership approach will help you to have better performance. Because when you think clearer, when you stay calmer, you can make better decisions, you can build stronger relationships and you will achieve your results much faster and more effectively without losing too much energy on managing your emotions, fighting your emotions and trying to overcome your emotional reactions. So how can we become more mindful as leaders? There's three things I wanna to mention to you today. Number one is to actually practice mindfulness. And I know you've probably heard it all the time. Mindfulness has been a bit of a buzzword over the last few years, but this is really so important to start to practice to calm down your thoughts. And you don't necessarily have to do meditation if that doesn't feel right for you. You also don't have to journal if that doesn't feel right for you. But if it feels good, meditate. Go for a walk with no distraction. Don't listen to a podcast or anything. Just go for a walk, observe your thoughts, observe what's going on and bringing your thoughts back to the moment. I like to keep my hands busy. That allows me to stay actually calm and be more mindful. So what I sometimes do as mindfulness is actually to do something to paint, to draw or even to build some Lego. I'm an engineer after all. So 
Think about what is it that helps you to just calm down, be more present in the moment. Maybe it's also about playing with your children or doing something that you love so that you can stay present in the moment and listen to your thoughts and what's going on for you and bringing yourself down to a calm center. It's about practicing that regularly because if your body and your mind know what it feels like to be present and to be calm, it's much easier to get there and back to that state when things are tough, when things are heated, when things feel stressful, because you know where you want to go to. So it's much easier to take self-regulation activities to get back to that calm state. Tip number two is all around investing in your listening skills and actually practicing to really deeply and actively listen. Avoid all distractions when you talk to someone. Shut down your computer, turn off the screens, the notifications, put your phone away so that you don't even get distracted. So you can really practice to look at the person. And whenever you get distracted by your own thought, bring it back to what they say. Look at their mouth, look at the words that they say and really start to focus on what they are saying to you. Ask questions to go a bit deeper. Try not to have an agenda in mind. And I know this can be quite difficult, but it's about practicing to really being in that moment. And tip number three is to be really clear on what are your values and your vision? Why are you here? What's important to you? So when you are in certain moments and you are in stressful moments, you're pushed for certain decisions, you feel a bit overwhelmed, you can bring it back to your values. What is it that you stand for? What is it that you're here to do? What's your vision and your mission and your purpose? Start to bring it back to that. That will give you a clear path to focus on. It will help you to get rid of all distractions and to really just be present with what you're here to do. Bringing it back to your values and your purpose will help you to be more mindful about what you give your attention to, where you spend your time and what you actually listen to. So mindful leadership is not about necessarily being all spiritual and woo-woo. Mindful leadership is just about practicing to be present in the moment, to not get distracted by all the noise, to not get overwhelmed with all the tasks that are on your plate, to actually be more calm, helping yourself to get calm quicker so you can then make the right decisions in the right time. So mindful leaders, they are calm, they're resilient, and they are quite able to think clearly in stressful situations. I hope that you found these tips helpful. Comment below what resonated with you or what other questions you might have. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.